We are here with Willie Randolph. So now you've got another in the legacy of Yankee captain. So your thoughts, you, he you held that very prestigious position. So how do you think the Yankees did choosing Aaron Judge? Uh, perfect choice. I mean, there's no, no other choice to be made. I feel like watching this kid over the years, Michael, he's become that captain. You can see the way he handles himself on the field, on and off, uh, the way he goes about his business. So it, it's proud to be a part of him and the way he's grown but he's going to be an outstanding captain the players already know that what did that role mean because i know that obviously you came over from the pirates in the trade for doc medich but you had an appreciation for yankee history when you got named yankee captain what did that mean oh it was just tremendous uh for me because i grew up in the city i grew up a yankee fan also a met fan but when they know the significance of, of what that award means or what that honor is mm -hmm. it's just through the roof when you're nifting guys like babe ruth and lou gehrig and Thurman Munson, who taught me how to play the game. You know, when I think about Thurman, he kind of prepared me for that. I remember that when I was finally named captain, I felt like I'd already grown into that, but it was because of guys like Thurman Munson and, and in other ways, Roy White and Chris Chambliss. Did you offer him any advice, knowing that you've been in the role, <laughs> you've done it before? Not quite yet, but I think he knows how I feel about him. We talk periodically, and just the way he handles himself, Meredith, he's fine. I mean, I, I just love the fact that, that he understands that his role is not just as a player, as a teammate but just as an organization bringing the legacy forward but also making the fans feel like he is the face and he wants to be a part of that and so I, I kind of had, had a feeling that you know he knew what to do with it but I just kind of said listen just be yourself go out there don't change a thing because right now the way he's carrying his team he's going to feel even more comfortable as the future moves forward. Now you are up close and personal for a lot of great Yankee seasons and the Thurman Munson 1976 MVP you watch this I know you watch every single Single game if you're not here you're watching on yes what did you think of this season by judge it was just phenomenal Michael when you think about it we're watching greatness you know when we grew up as kids we watched Mickey Mantle and Jordan Maggio some of us did and you can't imagine what it feels like to watch that in real time mm -hmm. we watched this young man do this in real time so uh, we'll be able to tell our grandkids my granddaughters about you know the great Aaron judge and what he did he also won a triple crown think about how difficult that is to do so I was rooting for him to win the triple crown not just to win the championship but the bottom line is that uh, we are watching an unbelievable season, something that we might not see for a long time. Willie, as Michael mentioned, you're around the ballpark a lot. You're there during spring training. You've kind of been there since the beginning. Just what stood out to you about his growth over the years? Well, I watched it very closely, and he kind of reminds me a little bit of the way Donnie Mattingly came in, the way Derek Jeter came in, so you can feel, Meredith, that these guys understood what it takes to win. They un understand how to go about their business every day, the responsibility of being a Yankee, a Yankee captain, a player in New York. So I kind of saw right away that that connection with their personalities and how they went about their business. I watched very closely. I don't miss too much on the field. And so I didn't need to say too much to them. When we got together and talked, it was almost like we were talking on the same level as far as what it means to be a leader and how to go about doing that. Could 99 have played on those 76, 77, 78, 80, 81 teams? No doubt, no doubt. Thurman would have loved him. I mean, he would fit right in the clubhouse. We, we were more of a needling team, so I don't, I don't know how sensitive you might have been with some of the needling that went on. We were pretty ruthless in the clubhouse. But he would have fit in perfectly. And uh, just the way you play the game, Michael, that's what he would have boils down to. You know, you go out there every day and you're busting your tail. New York fans deserve that. They demand that. And Aaron got it from day one. So for me, when you have that pedigree, when you have that DNA, it, it's easy for you to kind of take off and go. Now it's all about winning championships, and I think he knows that. Well, Willie, to you, Gretchen, the entire family, Merry Christmas. Always great to see you. Oh, my pleasure. Hey, enjoy. All right. Happy holidays to everyone. Enjoy. And Merry Christmas.